Hi, one and all. Uh, today we discuss about uh, maximum power transfer theorem, and we also verify uh, maximum power transfer theorem in uh, MATLAB. So, going to the uh, verification of uh, maximum power transfer theorem, we first discuss about the statement. So, it states that in a linear bilateral DC network maximum power is transferred to the load when the load resistance become equal to the internal resistance of a source. For example, we are assuming a electrical circuit here which consists of a voltage source DC voltage source Vs with the internal resistance Rs and it is connected to a load resistance RL. So now we will uh, verify maximum power transfer theorem on this circuit. So here first we have to uh, find the how much voltage is across the load resistance RL. So that load resistance across RL it is denoted by VL. So, VL is equal to Vs into RL by Rs plus RL. That would be it equation number 1. So, the next one is to we have to uh, find how much power dissipated by the low resistance RL. So, the given formula is PL is equal to VL square by RL. So, it is uh, when we substitute the equation number 1 which is a VL value to the equation 2 we will get around Vs square into RL by Rs plus RL whole square. So, this is our equation number 2. So, now we have to find the value of RL that dissipates the maximum power and it is obtained by differentiate, differentiating the uh, PL with respect to RL. So, DPL by derivative of RL. So, DPL by DRL is equal to RS plus RL whole square into VS minus VS square into RL into 2 into RS plus RL by RS plus RL whole to the power of 4. So, and it is it should be equal to 0. By, simpli by simplifying the equation number 3 and 4, we will get RS plus RL minus 2 RL is equal to 0. So, it simply uh, says that RL is equal to RS. So, which we have to, uh, that is proved actually. So, thus for a resistive network, the maximum power is supplied to a load provided the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. So, when RL equal to 0, the voltage across and the power dissipated by RL are 0. Now, the same uh, maximum power transform transfer theorem verification is done in uh, MATLAB by taking the parameters to the V uh, RL value uh, RS value and uh, VS value. Now we will verify uh, maximum power transfer theorem here we have given supply voltage of uh, 10 volts and uh, supply resistance of 10,000 ohms and the load resistance of around 0 to 50 kilo ohms. So now source voltage, uh, supply voltage or source voltage of around Vs is equal to 10. Now we have to give the supply resistance Rs is equal to 1000 ohms or 10 into E of 3. Now we have to give RL. So RL is a from 0 to 50 kilo ohms. So we have to give like a 0 semicolon uh, 1000 semicolon and uh, 50 kilo ohm. So now we have to uh, write the formula of power dissipation. So we have to calculate how much power is dissipated. So we have already we have formula P is equal to Vs 
square by R S plus R R whole square into R L. So now we have to depict that formula here, but we have to do from a zero to k or one to k. So one to k means one to k means k is the length of the load resistance. So here length of the load resistance is around fifty kilo ohms. So now we have to write that formula. P L P L I is equal to V S by R S plus R L I bracket whole square into R L R L bracket I. So now we have to end the loop. So we have opened the loop for writing from zero uh, zero to uh, fifty kilo ohm. Now we have to end the loop here. So now we have to find the derivative of power which we calculated. So d we already got p. Now we have to find the dp. So dp is the difference of pl divided by difference of rl rl means uh, load resistance and now rld So length of the load resistance. So we have written some code here. R L D two into length R L. So this is the length here. Now we have to uh, find the Critical points of uh, power derivative. So that is done by a formula, P R O D is equal to D P one D P one is to length of D P, which is a power derivative. Minus one into DP bracket on two semicolon length of DP. So now we have to uh, verify the critical path here. So critical path. Is equal to R L D. We have to find. Uh, we have to use find function here. Find whether the P R O D is less than zero or not. Now close the bracket. Now here uh, we have to calculate the maximum power. So there will be uh, maximum power will be very uh, uh, so many values. We have to find the one maximum power value here in the, the in the power dissipated. So maximum power is equal to max bracket P L. So now maximum power is calculated at R S is equal to R L. Now uh, we have to plot the power versus load. So plot bracket P uh, R L 
load resistance comma pl so now run this program select this and evaluate selection we got error that uh, unrecognized function variable k in the th in the fourth line we didn't mention the k length so length of the k is around 0 to 50 kilo ohm so we have to uh, give the length of the k so k is equal to length of rl so now run again this program So now we got the uh, maximum power curve RL between PL. So we got maximum power around 2.5 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 at uh, around uh, 1 into uh, 10 to the power of 4 uh, ohms, 10,000 ohms. And our maximum power is 0 0.0025. 